start off. Um, we are here to share our stories. Uh, we, are, we are going to make it very, um, you know, like absolutely informal and in a very shory, uh, story sharing basis. So um, Rumana is the lead speaker. Then we've got Arbin, who is the co-lead speaker. Then myself, Tamanna, uh, co-lead speaker. And then we have a panelist, Shaoli. So once we finish our speech, then we can have a more sort of a discussion thing and we can take up the question answer session and we can have like a more interactive session. So Romana, would you like to start? My father played a very important part in my learning in school years. So she congratulated my dad and said to him, it's great to see that you invest so much time in her studies. To which my dad replied, I am building my legacy. And the biggest asset for her future will be this legacy. Good morning, everyone. I am Romana Sinazegal, my father's legacy. I am the founder of Serendipity. It's a social entrepreneurship enterprise. And I'm a mother who's looking to leave a similar legacy behind for her children. As an entrepreneur, I have always wanted to create an enterprise that would focus on not only just a small audience, but also have a larger impact and create an experience for the people in the field of art. After spending several years in the corporate sector, from HR to manufacturing to software, I was at a career crossroad in the year 2006 when my elder son was born. And I did take a maternity leave and went back to work. But something had changed. The mundane tasks of a regular job did not seem all that exciting and fulfilling enough. Probably I had already graduated to being in the most toughest role of a mother. So I took a career break and focused on bringing up my child. They say children are the best teachers. As my son grew up and started school, I tried to focus my energies on making him excel in everything he did. As he went to a very progressive school and there was a lot of experiential learning that was involved, there were a lot of project works that would come home, assignments, a lot of competitions. On one such occasion, where he was preparing for a show and tell, my elder son Nahir came up to me and said, Ma, can you create an elephant for me that looks more like the real thing rather than just a cutout or a two-dimensional aspect of the picture? That got the active engineer and the dormant artist in me thinking. I was very excited. After multiple tries and experiments using different mediums, I was successful in cracking the code of a three-dimensional sculpture made out of scrap. It was a huge hit at school. Another medium that I use is paper mache. That too was inspired by this little mind, now here again. He had noticed this particular creation on an art show called Art Attack. And I translated what he saw into beautiful pieces of art. This humble and encouraging start and the commercial aspect follows. Finally, who is your Shakti? You always have supporters and detractors who will keep swapping roles. That person is your inner strength your Shakti. About my dad's legacy, well, I did manage to top all the way through engineering. But my biggest achievement has been my family and serendipity. My team, who once held a saw to wood, 
now seek a paintbrush and my number crunching mind has humbly submitted itself to the world of social entrepreneurship and the beautiful use of acrylic color namaskar cotton also now established the one company and, and slowly slowly he he became the uh, world one of the world's richest person more than 80 million people are a uh, good example for that jack ma jack ma is the uh, owner of the alibaba he is the richest person of china he introduced by the more than 30 companies but he not selected i started for that this is a very different uh, I would like to start off with a bit of my background because I come from a completely different background. I studied English literature. I graduated from St Xavier's College and then I went off to the UK to complete my masters from the University of Sussex. But currently, um I am the owner of KT Media's consultants and we are a process mapping company, a business process management consultants we are. So whenever I introduce myself to people the first thing they say is uh, this is a stark contrast you studied literature so how come you're into process mapping and business process improvement i mean what is the connection so i would like to uh, begin with uh, shakespeare's a two line quote just because i am from that background uh, lady macbeth had once said art thou a professor because or a teacher because that's going to be very convenient for you but thinking out of the box was always sort of my hobby so i always thought i wanted to do something on my own so when i moved back from the uk i had to come back for 6 months uh, just to uh, spend some quality time with my family and then the plan was i would go back again and do my phd in literature and then pursue professor i was there which was extremely unsatisfied because i was sort of living somebody else's dream i was doing something for somebody else i wasn't the one who was making the difference so that is when i realized that you know it's high time for me to actually go for what i want so it was um a saturday morning i wasted 30 minutes of my life sitting in there waiting so then when i went out obviously after drawing blood etc i was feeling a bit dizzy so i wanted to get a burger for myself so then i went to mcdonald's which is a fast food center and i ordered for a burger and i got it in 3 minutes So when I was coming back home I just realized that it's the same job the blood test takes 3 minutes the food serving takes 3 minutes why this is for the managerial subsection such as procurement budget and finance and mail room and from tomorrow we are starting on a new project for the American library so um I am not sure whether I can actually call it a success because you know I'm just uh, the owner of a 7 months old company but again success is very subjective isn't it i mean for some people success is getting a proper salary for some people success is stopping so that's my story thank you very much so i would uh, request shauli now to take up the stage thank you background family with uh, again as tawanna mentioned no business only salary good work good husband um proper time getting married all sort of things that we at the moment think of <coughs> mm i will start my journey from i should say um uh, when i was in class 9 I was in class 9 I was studying in Calcutta of course and on so that's when I shifted my career from a hotel to a consulting company because hotel had a shift duty and I was not in a position to take up a shift duty with a small child so I shifted to a management consulting with my own terms as if like I was a queen and there's dearth of good people around so I said I will only work from Monday to Friday No Saturday Sunday don't call me up after 6 o'clock if you want to work with me i am fine if you don't i am okay to go so i don't know what the gentleman thought about me he really offered me the job and he continued for 3 and 1/2 years pr kar leti hai 
फिर अरुण का ए आर आर मिल जाता है साल भर का होटल का बिल्कुल सेट लाइफ है तेरा देखो लुक एट एस वी हैव टू वर्क फाइनेंस यू नो मैनेजमेंट बैंकिंग क्या है you know i felt like slapping him honestly telling you i felt like slapping him on the face in the itc lobby but i just had to be so poised again a woman the you know the gracefulness of a woman just stopped me from doing that when i came back i was like okay so my next target is banking i was offered a job in avian amro because we had shared the same building and i knew some people who were were my friends so he they offered me an even i'm to sales i um, went to the interview but i said you know i was very candid saying that i can only do 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 2 4 and rest i need a calculator what i can do sales completely i am total bechu i can sell a pen to a whole hotel I can do total बेचू गिरी बट अगेन विथ अ कैलकुलेटर तो ये सर ठीक है थोड़ा ट्रेन कर लेंगे आपको हो जाएगा आपका आई थिंक परफेक्टली फाइन इट रियली टुक मी एवरी थर्ड डे आई थॉट दिस इज जस्ट नॉट द प्लेस दट आई एम सपोज टू बी बिकॉज आई वॉज आउट नंबर्ड बाई पीपल ओ एवरीबडी अराउंड मी वॉज अ बैंकर थर अ हार्ड कोर बैंकर who knew numbers by their fingertips and i every morning in a sales huddle i used to sit and think what do i do today how do i manage sales how do i you know manage this banking sales a per se but i sincerely thank my uh, entire team working with me that uh, which made me work for 9 years in avian amro i quit avian amro when i was about to become a head of a, a department i had to quit because of that mother guilt of uh, bringing up the child was growing up i used to see her growing up almost uh, you know either on a dining table or in the bed so that guilt in me constantly thought that no i think we should you know give up the job and uh, take care of home because you always want you know people have this expectation out of a woman saying that you are a mother so please take care of your child you are a wife please take care of your house you are a business or you you are an entrepreneur you know you know you are a sales person or a, a working woman take care of your job candidly but all three things may be balancing together at that point of time i think was little difficult i moved on i quit with uh, with a very heavy heart but i did uh you know in 3 months time my daughter first time told me mama it's so difficult to introduce you nowadays i was wondering you know what is so difficult you want i'm here whole day with you you know being the best mom as i can giving you the best support as possible But then she said, "Yeah, but then you know I have to only tell you she's my mom, and then I don't know what to say after that because previously I had to say my mom is Shavli Mazumdar. She works for so and so, and I get all my you know small small gifts out of her. So today I don't have that. So no extra baggage behind your name. So what do I do? So stop coming to school. You know, uh, don't come. Uh, be at home. I will manage." I'll come back. I take dad for uh, the parent teachers meeting because I can say he's the head of so and so. Get along with you. That's how Buthavites is born. I am the lady behind a six restaurant at the moment in Calcutta called Buthavites, who serves a thematic Chinese restaurant. 2014, 14 April. I started my first restaurant at Ponditia Road with a 28 cover. Yes, I have to mention that the man behind uh, a successful woman if I may say I'm successful at this moment is definitely my husband and 
My parents then, who left me in Delhi uh, with the husband who is a national head of Big Basket, running around, he's, a, you know, he's just a guest of, uh, on a weekend. Uh, but I completely being supported uh, by these two people around me. And today, I think I am happy enough to serve many, many people who are, who are not a hotel management background. I train their staff. I pick them up from a very, very, uh, they, may not, they may be a class 10 past people, boys and girls, but I train them to be a very good steward, to be a order taker, to be a manager. I, out of the six outlets, I have two outlets who has lady restaurant managers. Um, because I always feel they are more passionate, they are more hospitable, they nurture uh, the feeling of being grace on, on their own. It is by virtue that uh, we are so committed to whatever we do. So I think, you know, success is what you uh, feel inside you. It is your desire. You have to be adventurous to know what you want and just go for it. Go for it, grab it. Success will follow you because happiness is more important than success. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, Ramana, would you like to conclude the session? Thank you, Ramana. Um, WEF has been a great platform for all of us who are seated here. And we've heard uh, great stories. Shaomi, the process mapping. Arvind Jr., who mentors several entrepreneurs. We all have confidently unleashed that Shakti. And in this journey, we've always had the support of our family and friends at a forum like the Women Economic Forum, which brings together several minds over the last two days and even today. We've heard so many people speak here and bring the experiences live in this audience. And we hope that we continue to share our stories, building stronger people, stronger minds, irrespective of gender. Thank you very much, and hope, to, hope you have a great evening, and stay on with us for the rest of the sessions as well. Thank you. Like this uh, few lines that I've written. Success is life altering. The idea of being and feeling successful enriches lives. People nurture all kinds of dreams and aspirations into what we love. The effort they put into to achieve the result manifests into a fruitful result. Successful is happiness. Just be happy. Thank you.